WS6 Bunker. And what about Ricky Banderas, who we now know to be the man that attacked Vampiro two weeks ago. But what about this, this self-induced mission, not only to take the WSX Championship from Vampiro, but to snuff the living life out of him. And Vampiro has been vocal about this all over the world. I mean, the fact that the WSX Championship has breathed new life into him. And apparently, this feud between Banderas and Vampiro goes back many, many years. And I tell you, Chris, I think it's just escalated to a whole new level. Well, right now, Brett, our broadcast colleague, the beautiful Lacey, is standing by on the lookout for Vampiro. And once he arrives, we're going to get his reaction. But right now, we take you down to the ring for tonight's opening bout here on Wrestling Society X. Welcome to Wrestling Society X! Before Tonight, in this very ring, we'll bring you extreme action and infinite intensity that will ignite the Inferno! Our opening contest is set for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Coming to the ring first, he calls himself the greatest, and he's from the top of his class. He is Scorpio Sky! Here comes Scorpio Sky. You know what? This guy was showing me his good attendance award from elementary school. I saw them. And he was showing me his ribbons from, from field day. It's like this guy just, every this accomplishment he's had, he's just about every accomplishment he's achieved in his life. But the funny thing is, he's never even played a sport. And his opponent is the Prince of Parkland, the Aerial Emperor. Give it up for Jack Evans. And once again, here comes the Prince of P-Town, Parkland, Washington. And what waves, what waves this young man has been making here in Wrestling Society X. And this was the one match for Scorpio Sky to go one-on-one -on -one with Jack Evans. This one should be a match. Last and, there, and there's Jack Evans showing his breakdancing moves. I'll tell you right now, though, what's great about these two, this is going to be a match on all agility, oh, all high-flying action. That's absolutely right. Fans, here we go. And the crowd not liking uh, uh, Scorpio's uh, awards. He's gloating in front of him. Hey, and here comes Good Charlotte joining And us. here comes Good Charlotte, both Benji and Joel. What's How's up? How's it going? Pull up a chair. Welcome to the broadcast booth, and you just made it for our opening bout this week on Wrestling Society X. Oh, wow. <laughs> and now... Excited to be here. We're excited yes, to be here. Yes, we are. It's really? great to be here. Joe, check it out, though. Matt. Oh, Jack oh. Evans. 450 to the outside onto the concrete floor. Now, Joel Benji, when you grew up, did you ever watch wrestling? Did Absolutely. You get... Yes, uh, I was always... Uh, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy, Randy Savage, Savage, The Undertaker. Yeah. You the know, Undertaker was my favorite. Oh, the Undertaker. Yes. There you go. Oh! Well, he recovered from that. This is it, though. Oh. <laughs> wow, he just about decapitated him right there. Scorpio Sky looks like, yes, oh. he's going for the pin. This could do it, guys. One, two, oh. and oh, only two. Only two. Looks like Scorpio Sky tried to put Jack Evans away early to try and prove a point. I guess it is logic if he feels that Evans beats Seidel and he beats Evans, then that's two victories for him. Tap out, son. Tap out. Oh, he got out. See, this is this is what wrestling's all about right here. And Brett Ernst, I know you wish you had the athletic skills that these guys have. I mean, he's taking him to the end. Very oh. acrobatic wrestler. <laughs> I'm, I'm really catching on to their styles. Hey, Chris, it looks like uh, one of the awards Scorpio Sky forgot to mention is in high school, he might have been voted most likely to get his ass kicked. And down goes Scorpio Sky, referee for the count. This could do it here. No, oh, and now it's Sky's turn to kick out. Oh, oh, oh right on the chest. Look That's at this. Oh, my goodness. Standing moonsault. Was... Oh, oh, was that oh, close? Two count. Once again, breaking free. He takes his do-rag off because he's ready to finish him. The do-rag has come Once off. Once the do-rag comes off, it's over. Yeah, it's all business at that point. The do-rag has come off. Well, let's see if you guys are right. Oh. Well, Scorpio Sky just got the feet up just get, in That's the... called the Scorpion kick. He just gave it oh, to the him. Flip. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Scorpio caught him. A dragon sleeper. Tap out. A dragon sleeper. Tap out. 
Dragon Sleeper applied in the center of the out. ring. And you know what, Benji and Joel, if Jack Evans grabs those ropes, Scorpio Sky is gonna have to break the hole. And he did just that, Chris. Way to think on his feet or on his belly. Wow. And listen to these fans. Looks like the crowd's behind Jack Evans and booing Scorpio Sky. This exactly, could be it. Exactly right, Joel. I mean, the, uh, oh, wait a minute. Right you got to be kidding me. Oh, no. <laughs> Jack Evans, Jack Evans holding on wow. right there. Wait a minute, we've seen this before. The 6.30 splash. Oh. Oh, it was the 4.50 splash this time. One, two, it's, it's over. over. It's Go over. Go back to college. Uh -huh. Quiznos, slam -witch of the match, as Jack Evans comes off the top with the 4.50 splash. Another win for the Prince of Parkland. It's time to, you see, instead of me always focusing on the mamacitas and cervezas, I got a plan. Oh, really? Yeah. See, now you're going to start focusing on the mamacitas and cervezas starting right now. They're magic balls. You want to touch them? What the? Hey, Disco Duck. Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing talking to our highness? Huh? Oh. Why don't you make a tree? Hey, get out of here. Oh. Now, Chaos, I want you to meet, uh... Well, it doesn't matter. Bro, I appreciate this and all. But I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of getting the crap kicked out of me. I mean, look at Hart and M-Dog. They're the only undefeated team in WSX. Look how they work as a unit, as a team. You think so? You think they're happier? I'll tell you what then. Next week, we challenge Hart and M-Dog to a match. And this time, we need the mamacitas at home. No offense, ladies. And the cervezas on ice. And I'll even go as far as to say, if we don't win this match, then you can go in your own way. Good. But as for tonight, the only moves I'm gonna see you doing are on them. All right, man. You got it. Get your ass out of here, kid. That's one lucky guy, Chris, but who knows if they'll be lucky if they face the Filth and the Fury next week. Fans, when we return, it's gonna be tag team action. That 70s team taking on D.I.F.H. You do not want to miss this. Don't go anywhere. Magnum, ha. have you seen those lamos we're facing tonight? They're lamer than the Ford administration and Pet Rocks combined. Ah, excuse me while I fall over laughing. Seriously, are those two looking for a disco demolition? What's wrong with those guys anyway? I saw them crying watching Laguna Beach last week. Well, you could kind of understand. I mean, it was really hard for me too, especially when... Man, so uncool. Hey, let's win this match, take their girlfriends, and make their eyeliner run. Come on, Punch, we got a match. Dynamite! There goes that 70s team heading to the ring, getting ready to face D.I.F.H., who's getting ready right now. And speaking of faces, Jimmy Jacobs can't hit the ring without putting his makeup on, or I guess taking a bite of his quiz nose. This next bout is a tag team match, and it's scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Coming to the ring first, they are the Punch and John of Pro Wrestling, Joey, Magnum, Ryan, and the Disco Machine. They are that 70s team. Absolutely right. Now, right here, guys, Benji Joel in the front. That's the Disco Machine with the Disco Ball. And behind him is Joey Magnum Ryan. Kind of models himself after Magnum P.I., if you will. Forcing the referee to hold the Disco Ball. You've got to be kidding me. And their opponents are the ass-kicking, yet sensitive duo of Tyler here comes the girl and Jimmy favorites. Jacobs. Doing it for WSX, Jimmy Jacobs, you know, the only thing with him is he's so sensitive, he doesn't want to finish, has been driving Tyler Black nuts, driving but, him crazy, but they've been being successful, so we'll see how far the team, you know, how they do tonight, he found himself a little honey. Does. He does, yeah, look at that. He's got one right there. Right. But Tyler Black, look at him in the ring. He's all business. He's just ready to go, man. He's That's ready to the go. Backbone of that team that right is there. the backbone. Uh-oh, look at this. Jimmy Jacobs, ball, look at he waving it. One, Disco he's, sucks is what they're saying here. He's flirting with one of these girls, though, guys. Check this out. Jimmy Jacobs. I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. I don't know, but it looks like... <laughs> oh! 
That 70 team's attacking Tyler Black, throwing him out of the ring. What the hell is Jimmy Jacobs doing? He's getting digits right now. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, and now look at that, oh, getting double teamed. Come happens. on. The nice guys finish last. Oh, I agree with punked. you. Well, he claims, to, he claims to be emotionally secure. Well, he's gonna be emotionally secured into that mat in a second. You got that right. Oh, and there he goes, there, face that first. Was security. Now, where is Tyler? I don't see him. Tyler's he's back out, out on the concrete out. floor, still trying to group himself, clear I out mean, the spider web. This guy, Here he comes. Uh, Duck on her knees. Oh, springboard from the top. Oh. Did you see the height and the elevation, guys? That was, that was uh, oh. this, that's now, why, that this is why I'm telling you that this man holds this team together. Uh, and look at this. Jimmy Jacobs looking for hugs. I, I got to agree with you on that one, Benji. <laughs> I got to agree with you. <laughs> Looking for hugs? Come on, what is this? Oh, using oh, him as a battering him ram. as a battering ram. That's all the kid's good for, man. I keep saying that. Uh-oh, looks right. like a double team. Oh, my oh. goodness. Lakes is a hurricane Rana. He's using him as a weapon right now. Yeah, he his is. His own teammate. Oh. oh. And an effective weapon, nonetheless. Yes. And the strength of Tyler Look Black is showing that. Oh, my oh, goodness, the referee. The ref. That's not cool. Oh, he just. You guys saw that, Joey Ryan purpose. Hey, here comes the inhaler. Uh, he, he has asthma. Oh, now. Oh, come on. Inhalers, now, they were very popular in the 70s. They were now, brand I'm, new. I'm a little, I'm, I, the ref, I, I, now, if I was the ref, I'd be a little more upset than I am. Uh, it doesn't look like this guy is like, I don't, I don't, I don't think the ref knew it hit him. Uh-oh, what is it? Oh, oh sunset that's flip. Not good. Joey that's Ryan not holding good. on. That is oh, come not on, man. Good. Every time this guy wrestles me, I'm seeing his ass. Oh, man. Just to have that on your back, I'd submit right there. Literally Just a, literally a, a, an atrocity. Good Charlotte, I got to apologize right off the bat That's for all right. this. I, I've I seen a lot of ass here and, today. And this should have played the thong song. Oh, this my goodness. Spear right out of the that By a man hurt. in a thong. Oh, and Disco. And Disco only cares about his dancing. Power slam from the top. This could do it. He got him. So Disco. Great round. It was a great match. I agree. Disco now gyrating his hips with the ass tassels. Just embarrassing across the board. What a win that was by that 70s team. But right now, fans, we're going to take you to some footage sent to us by that, that man who apparently abducted Team Dragon Game. This is just bizarre. Ready. The time is near. Chris, these guys look like crap, man. What the hell is this guy doing to them? I don't know, Brett, but coming up. Wait a minute. It looks like Ricky Vendors is headed this way. <laughs> Jimmy! Where were you out there tonight? Bro, 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 relax, dude, dude. I know we lost, but I got a plan. Huh? Is this a joke? No, dude, just tell me your feelings. We're gonna get them all out. We're gonna put them all out. Jimmy, I'm sore, I'm angry, and, and, I'm, and I'm hurt. Good, good, good. See, fear is the heart of love, and laced in the tears of defeat, will soar on the wings of the dove to victory. Jimmy, do you not get it? We lost tonight. We lost. And the worst part, we lost to a bunch of hippies. But, but that girl, dude, I could have found love. Look at the bigger picture, man. Isn't that nice, dude? Chill, sure, bro. See? <gasps> I hate the 70s! Burn in hell! Let it out, bro. Let, just, just relax, Silver. Let it out. Talk about opposites, Chris. That was a little bit uncomfortable. It's time for our next high-flying, high-impact, high-energy WSX uh -oh, Somebody's match. making their way to the ring. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Chris That's Ricky Vanderas. What the hell is going on here? 
sure what's going on right here. What is going on? Baby and Caitlyn just thrown out. This guy's evil. Reason. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. He's got the mic. He's got the mic. The only reason I'm here because of you. You, Papito. You burned my face. You. Tomatito. If you're out there, Wait, I'm I did. here. He's calling out Dan Piro, guys. Face. I gotta be your worst nightmare. What the hell did he just say? I think what he said is that he's blaming Vampiro for burning his face, and he wants Vampiro in the ring face to face. I don't care how big that dude is. I wouldn't want to be an issue. Vampiro, and look at the face. Boom, and there's Pac again. It's six block. Oh, yeah. It was only two weeks ago that six block called out Vampiro only to have the champion be wrong. ambushed by Ricky Banderas. And the ambush is continuing right now in the ring, and this is evidence to me, Chris. This has got to be part of Six Pac's plan. I mean, the guy's been around forever, and he knows how to manipulate. This has got to be about the fact that Vampiro beat Six Pac for the WSX title as this two-on-one attack continues. That music, that music sounds familiar. That's you suicide music. You suicide coming to the ring. And it looks like it's going to be a two-on-two. Or maybe not. It seems like he was coming out here to help Vampiro and even the odds, but but why? And apparently he's not doing a very good job because Banderas is just manhandling. I'm not happy about what's going on right now. You Suicide went through an exploding cage in the debut episode in the WSX cool. Rumble. And we haven't seen him since then. Yeah, right. I don't really like what's going on right now. But we got a, we got all sorts of carnage in the ring right now. We got Six Pac and Vampiro in on the outside of the ring. Check it out. I mean, where's their crew? Well, Pac, Pac obviously taking his frustration out on Vampiro. Oh! Yeah. Nice. All right, all right, Vampiro. Nice yeah, roundhouse. Nice that's roundhouse. Vampiro's a new suicide fighting somewhere in the bunker here, but where'd they go? Oh, and there goes oh, the referee. Need ref. He doesn't need a ref. Oh, uh, they just threw referee out. Monchi Chi out of the ring. Vampiro up and over. Oh! But he gets cut by Six Buck with a foot right to the midsection. And now, the fight spills out to the floor. Guys, good Charlotte, this is nuts. This is all for blood and glory. There's no, there's nothing being fought for right here. I just, I heard that. This is all I about respect that. right now, oh, because the ref is gone. But we're looking for Banderas and, and New Suicide. We can't find him anywhere, Chris. Oh my goodness. Oh, that up yeah. here. Right on top of that industrial heater. Now, what, what Vampiro needs to do is get a weapon. Oh. Just as I say that. One of these fans of these just fans got, got pummeled right on the down. head. Oh, and he's hurt, the fans hurt. Wait a minute. Vampiro, if we could get a bird's eye view I'm from up here. Right they're going outside, and, and where the hell did that Ricky Banderas? Oh, wait a minute, guys, look, oh, up right there. Top. It's you, Suicide, and Ricky Banderas fighting at the top of the WSX bunker. Oh, no, no. Oh. Chris, is he alive? He's barely moving. I can't believe he's still moving. I can't believe. Look at that, and look at the eyes. Look at Ricky Bear. Oh my God, what the hell is this? He's spitting up blood. One of the craziest things I have ever seen. Youth suicide thrown off of a two-story freight container to the bunker floor below. Oh my God, is all that could be said. 
This whole scenario started out so strange. I mean, Ricky Banderas coming to the ring and throwing you out? Let's take a look at how this all went down. How big that dude is, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. And look at the face! Oh my oh. pack again! It's six o'clock! Oh, yeah. It was only two weeks ago that six o'clock called out Gamp Hero! He knows how to win it. That's the two on one attack! Continue! You suicide! Coming to the ring! And it looks like it's gonna be a two on two! Or maybe not! It seems like he was coming out here to help Gamp Hero even the eyes, but for what? You suicide went through an exploding cage. Oh! Yeah. I, all right, all right, hero. And Darren and you suicide fighting somewhere in the bunker here, but where'd they go? Oh, and there goes the referee. And Piero up and over. Oh! But he gets cut by Six Buck. Can't find him anywhere, Chris. Oh my God! Oh, man! Oh! One of these fans just got humbled right on the head. Oh, he's hurt. The fans hurt. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Look, oh, up there. Top. It's you suicide and Ricky Van Dier's fighting on the top of the WSX bunker. Oh, no, no. 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 Ah! Good God, Chris. Is he alive? He's barely moving. Look at that. And look at the eyes. Look at Ricky Van Oh, my God. What the hell is this? He's spitting up blood! Youth Suicide certainly seems to be living up to his name. I mean, the first time we saw him in the WSX Rumble, he was getting thrown off a ladder through an exploding cage. Now he's getting thrown off the top of a freight container? How much more can this guy take? And what about Six Pac and Vampiro? I mean, they brawled throughout the bunker. They went out the door. Next week, we're going to have to sort this all out. But before that, Let's take a look at our next match. This next match is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Coming to the ring first from just north of the border, El Hombre Blanco and Masquerado. Well, here he is once again, Brothers from north of the border, El Hombre del Masquerado. Look at the mask he's wearing, Chris. It's crazy. There it is. Here's the pose. And his opponent, as always, accompanied to the ring by his gorgeous and glamorous girlfriend, Lizzie Valentine. He is the cocky cover boy, Matt Sidell. Welcome to Matt Sidell and Lizzie. Look at what she's wearing. Oh. Lizzie this week. So she's, she's a sexy little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Got that nice I mean, they were walking out to good Charlotte earlier today. Yeah, they were. And I'll tell you, Seidel, I've been walking around in the back. You know how overprotected he is? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? You can't even glance with one eyeball. He's always accusing her of cheating and, and acting like a... I'll tell you, though, I can see why, man. She's a little flirtatious. Did you see all the flowers he brought her today? Two dozen long stem red roses. I mean, he's and that like, was one in the morning, one in the afternoon. I'll tell you though, I've been around women a lot in my life, Chris, and and I, I think magazines do not count. I'm serious, Chris, and I'm telling you, I think he loves her a little bit more than she loves him. I think so. I know so. But she just looked at me again. Are you kidding me? She looked at you in the back. She called you Bert Ernst. She didn't <laughs> even know your name. How dare you, Chris? El Hombre, de, now his name translates white guy in a mask. That's what he is, he's a white guy in a mask. And he is from north of the border, just north of the border, gut wrench. And down goes Matt Seidel at the hands of El Hombre, and a nice arm drag. Counters his way out of that one in what is Liz, 
Come on, Lizzie, you're cheering your man on the match. That was one move. Oh, come on, let's just give him a kiss. Just a major distraction to everybody. She's so preppy trendy. That makes me sick. Off the ropes here, she is hot. Oh! Oh, only two right there. Seidel got it, got hit in the... Oh, up and over, but it's El Ombre that hangs out in a duck, nice duck and a miss. Right there, high cross body from the top rope. And look at the quickness of El Ombre. Another, the lightning fast action is unbelievable. And we want to thank all our fans for logging on to WSX.MTV.com for this exclusive one-on-one -on -one matchup here on WS Extra. Here it is, Matt Seidel. Wow, look at the quickness right there. Reverse TDT coming up. No, oh. Oh, drops the leg. One, two, and oh. That almost ended in a hurry right there. And the white man in the mask is down. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try it in Spanish, I can't even. And I know you've been knocking the referees, but head official Patrick Hernandez was right there on top of things. As we see Matt Seidel with a huge chop on the near side of the ring. Oh, look at it. Oh, kick to the midsection, nice, like a gentleman. Drop it. The athletic skills of Matt Seidel, second to none here in Wrestling Society X. Pillar to post now. And it's Seidel with a vintage clothesline of his own. And El Ombre, oh, oh no, there's come a on, what there's is there. this? Can I tell you my opinion on something first? Whoa! You wanna hear it? Huh? Yes? I think Lizzie's with Chris. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I think Lizzie's with Matt, just to get ahead. That's what I think. Just to get ahead. You ever uh, notice that like, ahead? yeah, relax. What I'm saying is this. You ever notice, like, she'll do a dance, he'll do a dance? Well, like, yeah, I see that they choreographed a little move. What I think is, I think she's standing next to Matt just to get warm from the heat. She takes his heat, and now she tries to make it around. Okay, I don't trust her. That's all I'm saying. I guess you're an expert this week, Kurt Ernst. I'm just saying is you put her on a pedestal and so does Matt. Oh, I'm saying I'm not is. putting her on a pedestal. Oh, yes, yeah, she I does. said she's hot. Come on. No, and you also think she's this innocent little girl. No, she, I think she's above all this. She thinks she's above all this. You do too, Chris. I see the way you guys talk in the bar. Give me a break. Hey, at least she talks to me, Kurt. Wow, what I, a backbreaker that was right there. Let's get back to the match. Wrenching away now. Look, at he's got great fundamentals right there. Has El Ombre right where he wants him with the submission right in the center of the ring. Head official Patrick Fernandez right there checking on El Ombre. You know, and I try to talk to El Ombre in the back. This guy doesn't know any Spanish. J-Lo knows more Spanish than this white guy you, in the mask. Are you kidding me? This guy doesn't know Spanish. I saw him eating a taco with ketchup in the room. This guy is full of it. This whole match is full of it. You're full of it, Chris. I'm fed up. Matt Seidel, look at the look right there on his face. Forearm shot. Boom. Southpaw style. And now, a nice chop right there. Arm ringer. Another whip in. No, it's a reversal. A counter by El Ombre. Charging it with a head of steam. Oh, but he just got kicked in the head by Matt Seidel. Whoa, what a shot that was. Oh, nice shot. From El Ombre. Wow! What, what did agility! See, did you see how he, he, he like ranged that out? Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Strong. Another counter there from Seidel. Uh -oh. Leg says there, uh-oh. Look at this, Hurricanrana takedown nicely done from the man in the mask. Oh, nice. Spine, over. spine buster, one, two. Ooh, was that close? Seidel, Seidel, man, powering out of it. That was two and seven eights. And look at Lizzie cheering her man on. Oh, she just, she, that's annoying. Well, if, the, hey, if everyone boos Matt Seidel, he's definitely got at least one person that's going to cheer him. You know, and I was, that's Lizzie Valentine. And Seidel was telling me that, like, you know, uh, Lizzie's his Adrian, like, to Rocky. Are you but kidding? The only problem is, is that... Whoa, standing boots off from Seidel. One, it's over. two, it's over. that's it. No! How the hell is he kicking out of these bread arms? Well, here's my point. Adrian never cheated on Rocky. Adrian, that, that was a movie. What the hell are you talking Rocky about? Rocky was real, Chris. Rocky was... He's in the hearts of everybody. Wow. Oh. Okay, I, I, I think your spaghetti delivery is here. Uh oh, look at this. Hey, let's stop. El Ombre perched on the top rope. Brett, we have seen this before. Matt Seidel from the top. No, no, nothing. And I think El Ombre has seen it before too. He's, he's, done, he's done his homework on Matt Seidel. Oh, roundhouse. Crowd loves Ombre. What a roundhouse kick catching. El Ombre coming off that top rope. Didn't do enough homework perhaps. One, two. 
And how the hell is he kicking the, out of these? The white man with the mask, is he's got a lot of heart. Look at Seidel. Exclusive here on WSX.MTV.com, here on WS Extra, a treat for our internet fans. Uh-oh, Matt Seidel now from the top rope. What the hell? Oh, standing shooting star first, but he lands on his feet. Close line, duck underneath. It's El Ombre with the boot to the midsection, going for, oh my oh, goodness. It might be over. Neck breaker heads over first. for Seidel. No, and another kick out, holy cow. What a win this would be for El Ombre. I mean, as, as talented as he is, I would still say Matt Seidel with a slight advantage being the odds on favorite in this matchup right here. And watch Lizzie, be careful Lizzie. The rest back, he's on the rope, here she goes again. Wait a minute, Lizzie, oh! And we talked about it earlier, Bret Hart. The insurance policy paying off here. Backhand shot. This might as well just be a tag team. Uh oh, whoa, oh, oh. we've seen this before. His patented Cyclorama. Now going for the pin. I think the mass is getting out of this one. And you're right, that's it, it's over. Are you kidding me? One of the most devastating finishing maneuvers, I think, in the history of this business. That belly to belly boots off of the top rope, working once again for the victory. Victorious, Matt Seidel, and look at Lizzie. She could be happier. Of course, now she's in this, whenever he wins, she gets in the ring. It's like she's in the limelight. Well, yeah, you're right. Obviously, you're right because you know he gets the victory, and look where she's in. She's in the spotlight right now. I'm saying they just might as well be a tag team. Well, you got you got to give her some credit in that match for pulling up that victory. You know what? I don't give her any credit. Maybe, maybe they could go to formal together. Oh, come on, you're just bitter because she doesn't even know or care what your name is. No, Chris, you're missing the point. I'm not bitter, I don't care. The girls, I don't trust them. And you know what is, is, is sad is, well, you know what, Matt deserves it too. That guy's as clueless. What are you talking it? about? Every week you've been, you've been saying how she's giving you the eye up here. Now you I don't know care. what goes on when you're not around. I am the anarchist Eric Ken, and here, in Wrestling Society X, I am encouraged to embrace that which I believe. There are no rules, and there is no structure. So am I pissed that the cartel kicked my ass last week? No, I'm not. What I am is I'm disappointed. Disappointed in myself because I didn't come prepared. But mark my words, it will not happen again. So cartel, let's do this one more time. But this time, I'm bringing it back. Last week, right here on WS Extra, we saw Luke Hawks and Alcatraz pick up a rather tainted victory against Keeping It Gangsta. And this week, that team, Alcatraz and Luke Hawks, they're going to be taking on the Trailer Park Boys with their manager, White Trash, Johnny Webb. Alcatraz and Luke coming to the ring, and Luke, I'm your father, Luke. Here we go. One of Foss's friends getting it into it with Luke. Luke Hawks, along with, wow, look at the size. Once again, about these guys, these guys on the roll right here in Wrestling Society X. Alcatraz does not mess around, I'll tell you that much. Again, the man is a bad dude. He's had many felonies, served a lot of time. He's on his eighth strike, Chris. Eighth strike. You know what? And their opponents are from any damn trailer park they please. Accompanied to the ring by their manager, White Trash, Johnny Webb. They are Josh, John Raven, and Spider, they Webb, the trailer park boy. TPB, the Trailer Park Boys. Along with their mentor, White Trash, Johnny Webb. And I mean, you can see the continuity right now. We saw last week, they're just not in the, on the same page at this point in time. You see, Webb's there, he's trying to get him guys. It's like they're not even respecting Webb. White Trash, Johnny Webb at this point in time. And Spider Nate Webb getting up ready first to go in the ring. He's gonna face Alcatraz. And I'll tell you, even guys that come in first, there's a size difference. Obviously, there's a size difference between Alcatraz and Whoever's in the ring. Right. Well, Look at well, it. Oh, believe, believe it or not, Spider Nate Webb is the big man 
of the trailer park boys as far as the size on their team, but look, nothing compared to the big man right there. And look just, at what, what kind of boxing was that? Who just leveled Spider Nate Webb. And look at these shots from the big man. Are you kidding me? Alcatraz getting everybody fired up, including me. Spider Nate Webb. Nice shoulder block right there. Trying this. to put his dukes up before. What was that? Chris? Does he have a background in boxing or something? I don't know. Luke Cox now cheering on Alcatraz on the outside of the ring there. And now it's Alcatraz just pummeling just to straight. Oh, and here comes Jug. Jug coming in. Oh my gosh, he just got dumped right over the head. And look at this. It's like nothing, like a rag doll and to Alcatraz. Right. And Luke doesn't even need to be here. Body scissors right here from Nate Spiderweb. Oh, going for the Bulldog. No. Right onto the knee. And in the ring now comes Jug. Wow, somersault leg scissor. Takedown. And in the ring now comes Luke. And now it's small on small. Small, small on small is the freshman Luke in the ring. Going for a roundhouse, no, shot to the midsection from Jug onto Luke. Oh, swinging neck breaker, nicely done. A quick cover here. Rick Knox, referee down, only two. Another two count. Jug. Springboard. Oh, oh, and he caught him. He caught him right in the midsection, buddy. That was, that took the wind out of Jug. Absolutely right, Luke. Just getting those knees up right in the nick of time as we hear these chops. Series of them now. Echo throughout the WSX bunker. And I think Spider Nate Webb just asked White Trash Johnny Webb for a beer. What is this? Here comes Ruckus. Ruckus oh, wait. keeping a gangsta. What the hell are they doing here? Baby Slim waiting for Luke. Boom. Oh, oh my goodness. Obviously a bone to pick with both Alcatraz and Luke Hawks. Oh, Luke's on. Oh, Whoa, are you kidding me? Ruckus just coming off the top rope. Alcatraz out cold, got sucker punch. And this is odd. Hey, this look at this. No, don't tell me. Not like this. One, two. Another underhanded victory for the Trailer Park Boys. And you can see Mike Trash, Johnny Webb on the outside of the ring. He's not celebrating. And Chris, I think this is their first WSX victory. But look at this on the side oh. of the Look at this. I, Ruck is taking on Luke Alcatraz, uh, Baby Slim. The fight continues to the outside of the bunker. And look at these two yokels running around in the ring like a bunch of idiots. They don't, they're oblivious to what's going on. Well, this is their second underhanded victory here. In fight dress, Johnny Webb just looks disgusted at this point in time. And now they're dancing. Uh oh, Ruck is uh -oh. with, with Luke Hawks right into that steel wall. And I guess Ruckus is gone. Baby Slim is gone. But in the ring, the victorious Trailer Park Boys right now. Hey, it wasn't pretty, but they can take what they can get. This is their first win, isn't it? Is this their first win? This is actually thing? their second win. I mean, the, the last week they got another underhanded victory just like this. And Webb is, re White Trash Johnny Webb is reprimanding them right now. And again, they're showing him no respect. Why should they? Well, you know what? There's a lot of dissension now in the ring. Look how he dresses. I wouldn't show him any respect. So the Trailer Park Boys pick up a victory because of interference by K.I.G. This warfare between K.I.G. and Alcatraz and Luke, it's far from over. And we've also learned that the challenge has been accepted. It'll be Los Pochos Guapos taking on the undefeated Filth and the Fury in tag team action next week. Plus musical guest Quiet Drive. All that and more on Wrestling Society X.